Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. All right, so for my friend's gift, I have decided to go with what I call my signature tote <laughs> using this quick sew pattern. And then y'all know I do a um, contrasting bottom. And I'm going to use this um, black quilted fabric that I got from Joanne. Um, but I'm not going to do the straps like this. I think I'm going to do straps that I don't think they're going to go all the way down because the bottom is going to be black. But kind of start put the straps where the contrasting fabric is. Start the straps there and do straps like that instead of doing this type of strap so and then I'm also I also may put her some extra pockets along here and then the straps you'll see the straps will be separating the pocket um, I wish I had another bag that I can show you um, if I remember I'll pop a picture up on the screen um, of how I want the straps to go um, but the picture I have doesn't have a contrasting bottom I think y'all understand what I'm talking about <laughs> y'all understand what I'm talking about alright so I want to get started on this so I am working on the bag for my friend um, hopefully y'all can hear me I'm just walking around the room um so, I got the interfacing, the fusible fleece onto the main body of the bag. These two things here are going to be the inside pockets. Um, the outside pockets are here. I got them right size facing. I'm just going to sew them together because they're going to go on the outside of the bag. And then I'm going to sew some lines down to just make them different pockets. Um, I'm going to experiment with this webbing. I want, so I want the, um, I want a strap kind of like this. Um, So that's how I kind of want the straps to be on the bag. Um, it does have a bottom to it, this quilted black fabric here. So it'll, in my mind, <laughs> it'll look like this. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, in my mind, that's what I want it to look like. <laughs> see if I can bring it up closer yeah so that's what I got in my mind we'll see how it goes um, <laughs> I'll let you all know um, this is the base of the bag um, is quick sew <clears throat> 3597 um, but there's a simplicity version of this because I don't think they make quick sew patterns anymore. Um, so there's a simplicity version of that, but I don't know the pattern number. If I remember, I'll try to look it up and pop it up on the screen. Um, but that's what I start with. And then I, um, I hacked the bag, modified it and made it my own. So that's what I'm doing. For today it is Wednesday again I don't know if I told y'all that it's Wednesday again I got off early anytime they ask if I can get off early on a Wednesday I'm gonna do it I don't know what it is about Wednesdays that just I just can't <laughs> all right let's see what happens So, 
um, these pockets. Uh, now that I got, let's see if I can bring this over. I feel like I have a lot of stuff on this table. <laughs> I got the front pocket I sewn. So now I'm just gonna lay it here on the front. I'm just gonna base down the sides. I'm also going to sew together the pockets. I would do a zip pocket, but I uh I'm not gonna say I'm being lazy, I just I'm being lazy. <laughs> I don't want to do a zip pocket. Um, so I'm just going to do two slip pockets and then I'm going to sew down the middle of the zip pocket so there will be um, two of them. And here I'm just marking the pocket. You know, where I want the pockets. And I also have to be mindful that um, I want to put straps on too. So I am doing something a little bit different. I'm looking for my chalk roller so I can make these marks. Uh, here we go. So y'all know I always have a story about the job, right? <laughs> so. Some of the practices that we were working with um, left the program. So we're having to merge and it just so happens that my area is the one that has to be merged with other areas. So I got to learn how to schedule other um, practices. And y'all, when I say I am so frustrated, <laughs> I gotta get another supervisor and everything. And I love my supervisor. Like, that's the one thing I can tell you I am distraught about even though everybody says the supervisor that I'm going to is, is really really nice but I want my supervisor <laughs> um, possible schedule change I haven't heard anything about that about me though not yet um, so I won't jump the gun on that too much but I am distraught. <laughs> so I start my training next week. two outside pieces 
I'm going to mark where the center of the strap is going to be on the one that doesn't have pockets. So now I'm going to take the strap and just kind of center it. And pin it. And I'm going to sew to about here. Yeah, I think that's good. There we go. And take this other side and kind of center it here. Everything is straight. in here. Alright, so I'm going to pin it the same way on the other piece and I'm just going to sew um, up, across, and down to sew this in place. Make sure it's lined up. And make sure it's straight, not twisted. how far I pin you going to pin there everywhere. <laughs> Straightening up the pin because it was crooked. The strap is not straight either. strap over a little bit so it'll be straight. Oh, 
All right, and I'm ready to take these to the sewing machine and sew these to the um, bag. bottom on it right side spacing some binder clips And take this to the sewing machine and sew down that edge. front of the bag um, so all I got to do is sew the strap to the back side of the bag and then the bottom um, contrast piece to the back of the bag and then I'll put the two pieces together with right sides facing and then sew all around and the body of the bag will be done so I like it I like my um how my little experiment turned out with the straps and it got the pockets on the front so a little mini sitting right there I like it all right so I got the front and back done so now I'm going to place them with right sides facing and sew it up Um, just making sure I line up everything. So after I do this, then I have to work on the lining, which I may not do until tomorrow. Um, it depends. I have to um, pay attention to my body. Uh, when I start feeling a certain way, I know I need to go sit down. So just gonna pay attention to my body and see if I don't feel like I I'll have any issues. I'll go ahead and cut the lining and the interfacing, which I actually <laughs> haven't decided what lining I'm gonna use. More than likely black, and then the pockets will pop on the inside. But I was just sitting here thinking that I was like, I haven't even picked out any lining. <laughs> so I think this is kind of giving me a a jolt for bag making again. I've been wanting to get back on making some for a while. Um, but I had 
hadn't been in the mood, but now the ideas are flowing and I really want to start making some bags again because I miss it. Even though I did need these the summer outfits that I made, I did need summer outfits desperately. Um, for fall, I don't have to make <laughs> any fall outfits if I don't want to. But of course I am, but I got enough jogger sets for fall. Um, so I need to make something else for fall. I'm doing all these fall first looks. I need to get some of the patterns. I'm definitely getting some of those simplicity patterns. The Mimi G's, that uh, uh, jumpsuit. That's similar to that Nike jumpsuit. Definitely want to pick that up. But yeah. I'm ready to jump back into some bag making. I want to draft some patterns. Just different ideas that are in my head. So I'll keep y'all posted. You know I always take you along with me. Alright, so I'm just going to sew down the sides across the bottom and then do the gussets. So I got the outside of the bag done. Uh, now I just need to get the lining done, um, which is essentially uh, I'll add the pockets to both sides of the lining and then sew down the sides and the bottom. I usually leave an opening in one of the sides of my lining um, and turn the bag that way. Um, my battery is dying on my camera. so. <laughs> It always happens now. My battery is dying on my camera uh, quicker, faster. Um, so if you don't see any more of the process and just the finished bag, that's the reason why my battery is. I'm getting the flashing lights, flashing lights. Um, so I have a playlist here on the channel. Um, if you're new here or, or if you didn't know, I have a playlist on the channel of tutorials. So if you want to see me, you know, make things like this from start to finish, um, there's a playlist of tutorials on the channel. I'll link it um, at the end of the video on the end screen um, just so you can see it. Um, just so you can see tutorials on how I make bags start to finish. Um, but this is essentially what the bag will look like when I finish. All I got to do is add the inside lining, but it's super cute. I like it. And I can't wait until she sees it. <laughs> 